Hi everybody! Thanks for tuning in today. So today I wanted to talk to you about real beauty and what that means to you. I was contacted by the Gardener Sisters, who are three of my favorite YouTubers, so please check them out. And they started a campaign called the Be Real Beauty Campaign. And so they asked me to be a part of it and I said 100% yes, I'd love to be a part of this and talk about what real beauty means to me. It's been something I've wanted to vlog about for a long time, especially working with teenage girls. I teach a lot of teenage girls, and it's something that is constantly on my mind. Um, I see the pressure that girls struggle with, especially in high school, uh, with body image. And the media has such a strong influence on how we view our bodies now. Timing was a little bit interesting. When I first said yes to this, I was very pregnant and thought, oh, what a great time to talk about body image. Just learning to accept my new body as I've gone through all these changes. But, as many of you know, Ashlyn came early, so our son was born three weeks ago, and now I have my post-baby body. So um, not only can I speak to hopefully teenage girls and college girls and kind of how we feel about our bodies at that age, but also to women who are dealing with post-pregnancy bodies or newly pregnant bodies. As women, our bodies go through so many developmental changes and it can be really hard and there is a very specific stigma of what a beautiful woman should look like that is portrayed in the media and I feel like it's very skewed. So I want to just talk to you a little bit about my opinions on what real beauty means to me. So how do you resist the pressure of what today's world is telling us is beautiful? The skewed perception of beauty that we see in magazines, the stick thin woman with no curves and very little fat of any kind. <laughs> Personally I grew up very comfortable in my own skin and that was something that my mom instilled in me and my parents taught me really that self-confidence to be happy and comfortable in the skin I was in. Of course, in high school, um, I was always very sensitive about my legs, I felt like I was chubby and I had comments from other girls that definitely hurt at times, um, but at some point I just had to say, you know, this is my body and I feel comfortable in it. Something to remember is that what the media puts out there is completely false. I also feel like with social media and the role that's taken in our generation and this next generation, with selfies, people are constantly taking pictures. It's tricky when we are constantly looking for self-acceptance and validation. And that comes with likes and how many comments you get. And I notice a lot of wonderful comments, you look beautiful today, great hair day, you're so gorgeous. Um, but that's tricky if girls are looking for that and they're not getting that kind of feedback. So. That's just something to keep in mind. There's so much more pressure today because we are constantly posting pictures of ourselves and receiving feedback. So what does real beauty mean to me? Well, the name of this tag is Be Real. And Be Real Beauty means to me, who you are is beautiful. If you're honest and true to yourself, real beauty does not necessarily have anything to do with looks. There are so many beautiful people in my life and I consider them beautiful because of their soul and their personality and what they have within themselves. It's not based on how they look. So I do believe that true beauty is what's inside your heart. When do I feel the most beautiful? I have a new answer to this question because going through pregnancy was one of the most unbelievable things I've ever experienced. Indescribable, the feeling that you have growing a child in your body. And I would say I felt so incredibly beautiful towards the end of my pregnancy, which I know sounds very weird. This was just before I was getting very, very swollen and feeling a little more puffy than usual. But as I started to really love my pregnant body was when I was really seeing the most dramatic changes. My belly was growing so much and I could see my son moving in my belly and it was so incredible. I felt like a goddess. <laughs> so I encourage any of you who are pregnant and just feeling miserable and feeling fat and of course there are those days that we have where we just feel like this isn't my body and someone's taking over but I encourage you to look at the beauty of it and find that incredible power in what you're doing you're creating new life and I don't think there's anything more beautiful than that I also have a very wonderful husband I'm so lucky and with my post baby body especially, just noticing kind of how things have changed. There are days when I don't feel very beautiful and he's told me that I am and that definitely makes my day better. This is always a hard topic to bring up but working with high school girls I've noticed that many have struggled with eating disorders and self-harm and body image issues as I think most women at some point in their life have. And all I would say to you women out there is that it gets better. <laughs> and I know that you hear this a lot but 
you will go through periods in your life where you just don't feel good in your own skin. And that's a terrible feeling. I completely understand that. And you're comparing yourselves to others and looking at these pictures that girls are posting online, and it's really hard not to compare yourself to other women. Try not to compare yourself to others, and look in the mirror and try to find something that you love about yourself. Moving forward, you will gain that confidence back, and you will find the beauty that you have inside you. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this gave you the confidence to feel more beautiful today. I will keep you updated with more Holland's Family updates, and there will be more music coming as well. Be real, be beautiful. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.